Hey guys, it's me Ethan, back with another video, and today it is another meat vlog, of course. It is finally state, a tradition I have done for state and regions for four years now. Is this keeping the street going? We're gonna have some fun at state. morning is tech sequence so I'm going to be competing with my brother and then after that the next day I compete optionals first day I compete tech with the sixes and then uh, second day I compete optional since me and my brother are competing together my we picked up my grandpa and he's gonna come watch too now we are going to announce the winner of the challenge so the challenge was how many times do my hands touch the ground on the floor exercise? The answer was seven. And the winner was Finn Vouter. He guessed seven. A lot of people also guessed seven. But he commented really fast. And then we also have a backup winner. Because if you count my if you count my pirouette when I lift my hand, then it's eight. So we have a backup winner. I might get to meet the backup winner later today, so you guys also might get to meet him. We are now at the gymnastics center. I'm gonna compete in a few minutes. Uh, I need to ask you guys a question. Why is there a bouncy house here? There's a bouncy house at a gymnastics competition. Another question. Oh, that's some couches. There's couches. two answers seven and eight seven if you count if you don't count my pirouette but eight if you do count my pirouette we are done with the meet both of us me and my brother both did really well that i guess is a wrap of day one tomorrow we're coming back for my optionals so i'll see you guys then It is day two now, and we're about to leave for my meat. I didn't want to have oatmeal again for breakfast, so I just had an apple. It was kind of, it was a big apple, so I'm ready to go. Gonna have some fun. I meet to qualify for nationals in the instant score. It is 125. You have to watch my videos to see what I got. So now we are going to get some food with my teammate Connor, and then after we're going to come back and watch my senior teammate Biller compete and the other level tens, of course. But a couple people are going to watch him because he's a senior. Come on. Just got done watching the level tens. They all did really well. So we're gonna uh, smash it at regionals. These are what the medals look like. Thought the meat went really well. Definitely the best meat of the season. Like I said before, I need a 125 at regionals to qualify for nationals. You'll have to watch my videos and add up my 
scores because it's a combination of both my text sequence and my optionals. You have to go watch my videos and add them up and see what I got. So regionals, I have to 125 to go to nationals. So we're gonna start with my text sequence. Um, I hit six for six, which was really well, a really good. High bar was probably my best high bar ever. On my hex tap, which is the first thing I do, the judge gave me an extra 10th because he really liked it. Floor was better actually. The judge was really tough and all of the coaches or like even the, so one of the coaches judges some meets and he said even that that judge was being really tough. So I was probably my best floor. Rings was really good. I mean, just need to fix my handstand. So nobody, there was, okay, there's one kid in the whole nation who can do a lock arm press at my age. So I just, I need to get that because it's a deduction if I don't. My tech sequence went really well. Now let's do my optionals. So high bar again, it was probably, it was just as good as my Great Northern one, which I said was really good. On P bars, on my giant, I missed my hand, so I caught it like this and kind of had to fix it. But other than that, my P-bars was pretty solid. Um, my rings was definitely, by far, the best rings ever. I took down my difficulty by a tenth, so instead of doing my pipe down walkie, I did a tucked one, but I hit that. I nailed my giant, I stuck the dismount. It's just a great meet. Well, horse was that really good. Um, at all my other meets, I've had some type of stumble on horse. I've had, I had a little bit at the end, like a little form break, but it wasn't anything huge. So that was a pretty good horse. O overall, it was one of my, it was definitely my best meet ever. I hit 12 for 12. I hit six for six each meet. It's like nine out of 11 dismounts. Well, there's 12, but on vault, my Yamashita, I'm supposed to go flying out of it. For tech sequences? Yeah, so I didn't land that, but well, yeah, but it, it's what I'm supposed to do. So, stuff nine for 11 dismounts. I got a lot of medals, but one of them is pretty special. My brother got third place on rings, but they only went out two places. So, here is your bronze medal on rings. He had no idea about this. He did not know I was gonna give up on medal for getting third place on rings. Thank you. Yo, woke up. <laughs> He really deserves this, and it was his best event. He took third place, so in the Olympics, he would've got a medal. So my next meet is regionals. We are deaf, we're gonna qualify for nationals, guys. We gotta go. So regionals this year is in Iowa. And the Big Ten Championships is also in Iowa. So we're gonna watch the Big Tens, and it'll be fun. If you wanna see my tech sequence video, click right here. If you wanna see my optionals video, click right here. And remember, Stick the dismount on that subscribe button. And see you guys next time.